Everybody, welcome back to uh, another exciting episode of GG. I have an old friend, um, actually my editor, who does very good work. You, know, I, you might see him on the, the Mind of a Gamer. He puts uh, his tag at the end, Digital Gator. Uh, Kevin, how are you doing today, Kevin? I'm doing great. How about you, man? I mean, I need to get out more, but other than that, I mean, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking I know, of I live the quarantine out, life. <laughs> dude, absolutely. Absolutely. But uh, speaking of getting out, so today we're going to talk about the best games to play during quarantine with your friends. Woo. So I'm going to go first, I guess. My Okay, so I just picked this game up. I think it's fun, but you learn to hate each other at the same time, kind of like when you played Mario Party, um, is Overcooked. Ooh. Yeah, Overcooked okay. 2. Have you ever played Overcooked? I have not. Okay, so basically you have to have a minimum of two to four people. And you guys have to chop ingredients, put it together, and then serve it, wash dishes. Uh, it's a real chaotic back and forth process, and it has to have a lot of teamwork, and you have to have a lot of communication, either sitting on the couch or using a headset, because if you don't, it, it just gets unraveled real quick. Like, hey, I need pizza dough. You're like, well, I'm getting tomatoes. Like, okay, you gotta do this, or I gotta go do that. You're like, dude, no, I need this now, because I can't get to that side. You have to throw it to me. and. The utter chaos in itself is just, it's fun. Like I said, it's kind of like when you played Mario Party because it's just, it's so out there. And if you guys are right. on, on, on like the same level, I guess it's gonna, it's gonna, it's really gonna get to you. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> very so, nice, very nice. Yeah, what about you? Uh, so, I mean, I mean, I've, I've, I mean I've, even without the quarantine, I've just been playing this game a lot, but now that people are home more, um, I don't know. We, we've I've been playing a lot of Smash Brothers. Oh uh, hell just yeah! With friends online, like even though I know a lot of people crap on the online, but I mean, <laughs> if you buy if you buy a land adapter though, like it's only thirty bucks. Holy crap! It makes such a difference. Like yeah. it's it's nearly seamless at times. It's it, granted, there's not a consistency. You're either gonna have really choppy. Oh, I'm playing PowerPoint and Smash Brothers at the same time, <laughs> or I'm basically sitting side by side by my friend and they're just invisible and also they're like another country away so it's <laughs> it's actually really cool uh especially like if everyone has a lane adapter like you know hopefully sometimes it stays consistent other times like we'll get mad and be like okay well this is dumb i'm just gonna leave but <laughs> for for the most, like, even, even my other friends who are local to me, and we used to, like, just go to each other's house and, like, you know, play Smash for hours and hours, we've been, like, doing a consistent, like, Thursday or Friday hangout and, like, just playing till 2 a.m. Awesome. And not even really minding the lag, like, we'll just blame the lag, like, well, the lag killed my, killed my move says That's why I lost. It was because of the lag, so I'll keep going. Somebody's just to always prove you how lag. good I am. What now? I said somebody always blames lag. Oh yeah, but I mean this time it's actually like kind of Legit. consistently true. That's awesome. But, Man. Well no, that's yeah. a great one, especially because the new Smash Bros, you get it like what, eight people in one game. So that's actually kinda nice, man. You guys are doing that every Friday. I, I think I need to do something like that to really get my mind out of being in my house constantly and just feeling kind of secluded. That's awesome. Yeah. Plus yeah, I no, love Smash it's, Bros, it's but really I'm not good. good at it, so I know I'm gonna be the worst guy. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of the unfortunate thing. Like, I, I wish I could just tell you, yeah, you just go in and play with all skill levels. But uh, if if most of your friends are at like competitive level, it's uh, it's not a good time. Unless you have items on, then it doesn't give a shit. <laughs> I don't know if they are competitive level, but I guarantee you, uh, anybody I play is gonna basically beat me. Unless they're like a complete noob, because I've played, like I said, but I'm not good at it. I only the only fighting game i put a lot of time into is tekken and Ooh, got you that i wreck my friends in but the people that i know are like top level players you know tournament players and they're like oh yeah it's 12 frames for this and that and you got to do this and they just so but other than that i can beat any casual i can beat a good amount of intermediates but i'm not the greatest not even close so i won't ever admit that so <laughs> got gotcha. um, so all right so i have another game now i'm not okay. usually a mobile guy I'll, I'll 100% of it. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm already getting flack for it. I know it. So, yeah. I'm not a mobile guy. I've already had mm -hmm. rants. I don't really like the games. But there is one game, um, because recently I got into League of Legends. Um, oh. Yeah, okay. so online, on my phone, though, it's called 
um, Arena of Valor. And I'm pretty sure it's okay. the guy who helped create League of Legends, and he made it. <clears throat> and so it's a nice way for me to get, like, a lot of my coworkers play it. So if we're not working, we're like, hey, man, we'll hop on AOV, and we'll be on, and we'll be talking to each other. And it's got chat in the game. It's got all sorts of cool stuff like that. So we can actually have a, a conversation in the game, how to play and everything, uh, good back and forth. And it plays extremely well, um, even with latency. It'll tell you it has latency, oh, okay. but it's not like it's super bad. You know, like with a fighting right. game, if there's a latency, you can get severely punished for it. But with this, because it's a slower paced game, it's it's not as bad, and it feels really good. <clears throat> there's a thousand characters. It's exactly like League of Legends, but with just uh, you know different names for their characters instead of like. Oh God, I can't remember some of their tank guys' names on LOL, but like you know, there's Darius or tanks. It's just like a, it's <clears throat> it's it's a it's a really fun game. <clears throat> Excuse me, God. <laughs> and uh, I, the, the, the fact that I make fun of a lot of mobile games, most of them are pretty bad. This, however, is a really good one, though. Like I said, it, it runs extremely smooth, no matter where anybody is. Um, it, it tries to make up for the latency, it seems. Um, very easy to pick up. Um, <clears throat> very hard to master, though. It's one of those games you got to put a lot of time to understand a lot of the other characters. And, just like the regular League of Legends, but you know, you have your team of five, and it's a it's a good time. I really enjoy it. Nice man, nice. Yeah. So, do you have any other games besides Smash that you guys are obviously having a huge party with? <laughs> um, n well, it, it is. Uh, we did have. Um, I did have a. I have like a Discord uh, people I talk to. Um, that they were like. They're the ones who like organized the Smash one, but they were also talking about doing a Mario Kart yesterday. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to join them, but um, I just know that pretty much anything Nintendo has on the Switch, like as long as you have Discord and you got a Switch and like any of those games, I think any of them are really fun. Yeah. Uh, I will say I'll I'll say one thing though. Um, not only is like playing games with friends during quarantine is fun, but talking about games. It's definitely a good time. Absolutely. Like, like for instance, like Final Fantasy VII Remake came out. Great game. And we've been, like, I've been talking to a ton of my friends about that game, like, throughout, like, you know, my whole journey. And just talking about that game is, one, it, it enhances the experience, to say the least. And it's definitely a good time to, like, you know, you definitely have time to, like, you know, play games and also talk about games during this whole quarantine nonsense. Kind of keeps your mind off things as well. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. It does help. And uh, Final Fantasy VII is a good game. I do like it. I like the... I, li I love... Dude, I'm going to tell you right now. That is, that's a beautiful looking game. Um, oh, it's gorgeous. It's, it's hard to tell the difference between a PS4 and a PS4 Pro, which is great. That just shows that they put a lot of time and effort into it. Um, yeah. I don't like that there's a bunch of little side quests on it, though. I feel that yeah. if they got rid of some of those... And put more towards just the story, like they did in the original in Midgar, in the Midgar section at least. Right. That would have, I think it would have been a lot better. I really enjoyed that. So, but I, I think I think part two will won't hopefully it won't have that problem because I, I think they'll take a lot of criticism that the first one got, and ah. then when it gets to part two, I'm hoping that the main mini games that we got in FF7 will just they'll stick with those, you know, like snowboarding, chocobo racing, all that stuff. You know, yeah. like, I don't, granted, I never played the original. I'm actually playing through the original right now, but... I'm going to throw um, something through my monitor. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I, I'm, I'm sorry. I grew up way too late for that, but... You grew um, up too late. You're, all, you're just a little bit younger than me. You're, you're, it's not like a big difference. I understand this, but my first game was 10. <laughs> okay. I don't yeah, like they, 10. 10 is crap. Well, well, that's the thing. Like, I enjoyed the gameplay. Story was weird because I was a dumb kid, so I liked it at the time. <laughs> now I hate it. Uh, it's, 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 it did not age well. It did not age well. But like, I'm playing ha, through seven ha, now. And ha, I'm like, oh, ha. this is great. Oh god, don't don't get me started on. <laughs> that game was such a joke, dude. I'm Anyway, Please don't anyway. get me started on that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, moving on, moving on. But uh, no, I, I'm just saying. Uh, I think that the mini games will be hopefully. A lot better in part two. Uh, they'll stay on course with you know the the mainline story from the original, yeah. and you know they might throw a couple surprises here and there. But I think for the most part, uh, pacing wise, hopefully it'll get a lot better. Well, if it is anything like this one, the pacing will already be good. 
Um, uh, yeah, there'll be a lot more story. I don't know about too many twists and turns, but you, I mean, they've already kept like at least 90 some percent from the original and yes. put it in, you know, this one. So I think, uh, I, I think for the most part, they're pretty much going to do like almost a copy and paste and then everything in between is what they did. Like, they expanded it out and they're like, okay, what can we put in between all these to really fill in the right. gaps, uh, to make everything seem more together and flushed out and everything's going to change over time so that was nice right <clears throat> like yeah. like cloud you actually got to see how awkward he was and how he, he he's very <laughs> naive to the world like the very beginning right. of the game he barrett's like hey what's your number and he goes i mean what's your yeah what's your number he's like uh first and he goes what he's like what you know, first class he's like i was asking about your age not your rank <laughs> like is i i uh, <laughs> um i'm cool <laughs> yeah he's like oh oops uh, yeah, about that. So, but it was really nice. You really, really, really get uh, to see stuff like that. So, um, yeah. but is there any other game that you think that would be fun to play beside? Well, Mario Kart is a great one as well. I feel right. Mario. Well, the new. I don't really like the new Mario Kart, but I like some of the older versions. I love Double Dash. I love 64. Super's uh, okay. Double Dash. But yeah. I just don't like the new one on the Switch. I, and in the last iteration, Mario Kart 8. I don't know why. They just. I don't know. To me, they just did, they didn't feel right. They're too, I don't know, different. I guess. And right. I don't. I, I like change, but I don't like a lot of change. So. Right. Yeah. At least. Well, I mean, um, as, as far, I mean, as far as like you know, other things to play during quarantine. I know. Uh, I think uh, Call of Duty Warzone. Oh, like, that's huge. I think right a lot now. of people are enjoying that. Oh yeah. What? Well, yeah. it uh, is. In my personal opinion, it's better than the Black Ops Four. The Black Ops Four was very like clunky i'm like bleh, bleh, bleh. Right. everything was chugging along didn't feel right this one's very well polished it feels mm -hmm. right they, they stole a lot from other games like where to drop in has the stuff on the map and everything like that the gulag is probably one of the best ideas i've ever seen in a battle royale because um, nice. if you and your buddy go in there from the same team at the same time what happens is you one will be fighting and the other will be on the top watching so he can call out hey man he's around this corner shoot here shoot there it's it's absolutely amazing. It was a great idea. I, I, I really enjoyed it. Rather than just like, you have to go get like on Fortnite, <clears throat> you go grab their, their their reboot pass or whatever it is, and you take it to a bus, and then you just have to wait there and then they come back. This is like, all right, who's better? We're gonna put you in a death match. And you're like, well, <laughs> I, have to, I have to perform, or my team's obviously gonna have to pay five grand and then that's it, so I love right. it. Um, <clears throat> so, excuse me. But um, yeah, Call of Duty Warzone I, I think is is a good second right now to Fortnite. But I still don't think Fortnite is going to lose in terms of battle royale. It's still a good. It's and they've done a, no, a number of things. If you didn't know, so especially for quarantine, Fortnite is great because right. you know your friends play and all this and that. There's always millions of players. But what they did was with the lobby, you can only have four players on a team. But with a lobby, it can have up to nine people in one lobby, and then you guys rotate turns like you used to back when you were, you know, a kid, when you were younger, and you all had to sit in front of the television, and then your friend would play, and then he would play, and then he would play. It just it kept rotating. So that is like the forefront. I feel if you have too big of a squad, you can see who meshes well with each person and how they play differently, and then you can find an ideal team, and then. Just, you know, spend time with your friends, man, really. That's really another thing is just getting out of this chaos of sitting inside all day and hating it. <laughs> so, but either way, um, Kevin, I know it's, yep. it's always fun to have you on the show. I like, I like talking with video games with you because you're very well versed. Um, I like right? being here, man. Yeah, dude, I love it. So, we, I mean, I know you're a very busy guy, but I would like to have you back again, as always. <laughs> of course. All right. So, but anyway, everybody, uh, thanks for paying, uh, coming and watching this episode of GG. We'll, I'll check you later. Peace. Take care.